welcome to CGTN. We are live at the fifth CIIE China International Import Expo, and this is the Automobile Pavilion. I'm Yasima. I'm Gong. Welcome to our live streaming today. So, Simon, this is a really cool car, uh, and you are sitting at the driving seat. Right. How does it feel like? Well, I feel I am driving driving a future car because mm -hmm. this looks so different. Mm -hmm. and I actually don't know how to control. It. Okay, so uh, I are guess very we. Brave to sit yeah, car. I know. <laughs> and uh, I hear that this car has three modes, yeah. so it's for a future, and then it was like a totally smart, right? Mm -hmm. So today we're going to have a, one of our experts here. Okay. Uh, uh, this should, yeah, thank you so much. You want to stand here? Okay. Uh, so do you want to say hi to our audience? Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Mobis CIIE uh, demo space. Uh, I'm Yi Yang Xu. I'm the mm -hmm. Open Innovation Manager from Mobis Venture uh, Open Innovation Center. So this year is Mobis the third time that uh, we are attending CIIE, and this year we are bringing six really advanced demos to the demo area, and we're trying to show our most most advanced technology, mm -hmm. not only to the global customer, but also for the uh, China OEMs as well. I see. So could you show us how to uh, operate this car, right? Definitely. Can I take a seat? Over okay, here? sure. Yes. Okay, can I? Yes. Please. Oh, okay. Thank you. Yes. Uh, so this demo is the most uh, advanced concept of uh, smart cabin vehicle demo that we're trying to build for aiming for the future autonomous driving era. And uh, right now we have designed three different modes uh, to equal, to accommodate different needs for the passengers. So there are three and the different modes. Yes, there are three different modes. Uh, now, the mode you're in right now is a drive mode, so drive it's, uh, it's mode. Just, you can just drive as uh, your uh, ordinary cars. Ah. Yes. So it's and you can see the vehicle, uh, the the steering wheel is being extended out. So and what are some others like? Right. So uh, uh, once because it, this is a bill for the future autonomous dri driving vehicle, uh -huh. and uh, because uh, autonomous driving has freed a lot of time for the passengers and also for the driver, so you are able to uh, process your work and also doing some readings and. If you select the auto drive mode on the panel right here, here yes, that can I? Press oh, sorry. Button, and then the oh. cabin will be changed to office so mode. So it goes in? Yes, the steering wheel will, will be folded in. So and this is called office mode. Office right? mode. Wow. Right. Well, to take a, uh, like a look at this table. Yes, to change it stretches it. out, yes. so I can put my face acting as a work table. So mm -hmm. you, it will give you an ample space to put your personal laptop, mm -hmm. your work document, yeah. your favorite book, and we also have two uh, spotlight to uh, give you more light when you do the reading. So if you want and to take a look at us, now we can put our laptop here. Yeah, so it, this is our really cool. Yeah. Right, so right. we can put our laptop here mm -hmm. and yes. work as well as. You know, Drink driving. Yeah. At, yes. And but here are some you, buttons. Here, yeah. here are okay. some button, button here. Uh, yeah. What so are these this for? This is our uh, smart touch buttons uh, that you can control uh, different aspects from uh, the vehicle. Okay. Uh, for example, if you want to change the ambient light of the vehicle interior, uh, you can press the button over here, and uh, you can also do the do the adjusting from the from the vehicle screen, the curve oh. screen there as well. And what if yes. we get tired, like we don't want to work we anymore? Don't want to so uh, there's a there's a but simple button. Uh, okay. you select uh, the reclining seat over oh, here. Oh, reclining! Yes, yeah. And it will be automatically Just adjust to the. Take a look at our chair, our, yes. our seat. The seat will be and changed to an optimized position for your rest, so you can sit back, relax, and have your time on your own. So we can relax uh, after working, right? Uh, this yes. is so comfortable, just lying down can, here, do and the car is driving. And play your favorite movie, your favorite music. And we also have a smart uh, aroma system. We'll be uh, able to purify the, the air for you to Ooh. create the best environment for your relaxation. I see. That's yeah. really that cool. fantastic. And then uh, there are also some other cars here at this pavilion. You want to yeah, and also you were telling me that this is actually, this car is making its Asian debut, right? Yes, this is the first time we, uh, first time ever that we bring this demo to uh, the Asian market. And uh, be along to uh, alongside this uh, demo, we have also bring six other uh, most advanced uh, technology demos to CIE for for this year. And uh, as you can see over here, uh, the. Uh, Uh, so as you can see, we have bring the state-of-art mm -hmm. uh, e-corner technology module that will uh, do a magic trick on the concept vehicle that we will see later. And then this Ooh. demo you are seeing over here is a driver monitoring it's system. A driver monitoring. Yes, it will sense your bio signals and your health status uh, just by using a RGB camera. Yeah, we can yes. take a close look 
at here. Yes. So see, see, we are now in the camera. You'll be able this is to me. Read your and then we also rate, have the your heart blood pressure, your ox blood oxygen uh -huh. level, and you will give you. So give this is do, it does all this kind of testing while we are driving. Yes. Yes. So it's very, is it precise? It is pretty accurate, actually. Uh -huh. We have compared to many other uh, medical devices, and mm -hmm. the readings w uh, that we got is pretty accurate. Yes. So how does it do the test? Uh, you, you change to the, to the camera mode over uh -huh. here, and uh, once you put your face, it will detect your uh, the facial image. Uh, the RGB camera sensor will be measuring your uh, your your uh, facial uh, signals, and it will give you a rating of your heart rate. How long does it oxygen. take to? It usually take about uh, 20 seconds. So 20 it's, uh, seconds. Yeah, it will it will take some time. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Uh, let's move on to. Uh, there's a really cool car there, yes. right? Yes. Yes. And then it can move in very different directions. Yes, that that is correct. And so you want to show that it's called Joy <gasps> Market. It's very interesting. Yes, this is a concept, the urban uh, mobility concept urban vehicle. Urban mobility. Yes, that we bring to China for the bring to Asia to the first for the first time. Mm -hmm. So, uh, what well, the magic thing you're seeing here is that the vehicle is able to move like a crab. So it's like a crab. Yes, the the wheel. Can we see it really? Move? Yeah, yes. right now. Each oh, it's the, rotating. Yes, each of the the wheel can be turned and uh, rotate 90 degrees. So it will allow the vehicle to do a U-turn, parallel parking. Mm -hmm easily without really doing a complicated maneuver. It is a perfect design for urban transportation scenarios, such as if you are driving through a very narrow street and the, the, the parking space you're finding is pretty small. Uh, that way, using our e corner technology, you don't really need to do a very complicated maneuvers so that you can do your driving and your urban parking very easily. Yeah. So is it easy to, is it easy to operate? I mean when I want to, to want, want, when I want to turn like a crab. Yes. It's easy for me. It's to a walk. crab style now. Yeah, it is. A, it's, it it yeah. is really easy for you to do a parking, uh, you know, small parking space. That I is see. correct. And then you mentioned earlier that it's yes. all electric, right? Yeah, it is powered by electric, and also you can see uh, from here that we have also have uh, the hydrogen uh, cell tank right under oh. the seat over there. So it is actually powered by hydrogen, as, as you can well. tell from the name H to Go. It's inspired by hydrogen. Oh, hydrogen to the go. Smart mobility. H2Go. Con yes, H to Go. Yes. H2Go. Got right. it. And you said this is also, and uh, first first time showing this in Asia, right? Correct. Yes. Isn't that really cool? Yeah. yeah. Really cool. <laughs> yeah. If you want to see uh, the more of the, the inside of a cabin, we have a Unvision Pop yeah. demo uh -huh. uh, car. We finally yeah. have one we can get in, right? Yes. Like, yeah. Have, have a seat. Hey, you want Go to on, uh, me? Okay, cool. So, so we think that uh, like being green and smarter, really the key words for that one is for the urban mobility. So oh, what right. about this one? So what am I doing here? So the is this the steering wheel here? Yeah, yes, it is a steering wheel. So the major concept behind this one is a mobility. It's a creative word that we're trying to combine the idea of a smartphone plus smart mobility. So it can be controlled on your phone. So every feature and every function on this vehicle can be controlled from the cell phone screen that you can, can you, see from Can you please here. show us here? Because we are ha we have a phone here and there yes. are some figures on a it screen. Has what is Mm -hmm. So uh, the, your driving speed or your driving status will be showing from your. Uh, it will be showing the same picture as your from your cell phone and also from the, the vehicle screen as well. Okay. And also you'll be able to switch to different mode. Uh, this one is showing is a driving mode, and you want to uh, switch to the navigation panel. Wow. Yeah, you will also be able to uh, select the destination and uh, try to take the to take you to the place that you want to go. Wow, this and is And this cool. is a media playback screen that you can play, play your favorite music and your favorite mu music. Cool, and yes. I can skip the sounds here. And you were telling me actually the steering wheel can move, yes. right? How uh, do I do it's that? A, it's a concept that we, we designed that the, the steering wheel is able to move from the left side to the right side. So it kind of uh, enables your co-driver, co-pilot to also experience the fun of driving. So if I'm tired, you take my part. <laughs> yeah, of course, but I have a question. Will this be not so safe because it can always move and then, you know, like you're not sure if you're co-driver can do this so if it if it move a little bit like will it be 
some concern about that? So safety is all of uh, our top priority for mm -hmm. our customers and for everyone who is sitting in our car. And uh, this is designed for uh, autonomous driving and also future uh, mobility scenarios. Uh, the idea behind it is that we want everything, uh, everyone to sit being sitting in the car to equally have the fun of driving and the control by their I own. See. Yes. And that, that is actually auto locked. Mm -hmm. yes, I was is. trying. Uh, you have to push that to move the steering wheel. I see. Yes. 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 Yeah. That's interesting. And also you can see from the exterior, we're using a retro color, uh, kind of remind you the, uh, the childhood fun that your, your height, your, your, uh, the childhood uh, uh, atmosphere, which kind of bring a charm <laughs> of, uh, of, of your childhood like, fun. Yes. So you were saying the color is like childhood. Right? Yeah, the childhood and also the uh, UI design that we're, it's kind of inspired oh. by the, uh, old games. Okay. Yes, so it's a really Did colorful. we take a look at the interior here? Yeah. Can We can actually... I'm talking to my camera man to, to show our audience that is on uh, the windscreen. As I'm switching different modes on the, on, on the phone attached to the steering wheel, these are all the functions that we can see yes. on a windshield. Correct. All right, thank you so much. Yes. Okay. Thank you so much for all this introduction. And how many products did you bring to this expo? Uh, for this time, we're bringing six of our, of our most advanced technology demo to, mm -hmm. to CIE, and okay. three of them are ever being shown for the first time in China as well, yes. Okay, so yeah. six products in total, three Asian debuts, three China debuts. Wow, that is fantastic. Thank you. Thank you, you so your much. first year at CIE or no? Uh, this is third time that Mobis uh, attended CIE. Yeah, so I guess yes. the platform does play a yeah. great role in you know, mm -hmm. displaying your products to the audience and also turning, like there's a new special area called from the exhibitor to investor, but no matter if it's the true for everyone, it's still a great platform to have more cooperation right, with right. local yes. Chinese enterprises. Yes, exactly. Definitely. This event is a great opportunity for us to connect with our customers, our suppliers, as well as our investment target. So this year, Mobius has also, uh, our investment portfolio company has also went IPO, so which is a oh, really wow. great accomplishment for us as well. Sure. Yes. Yes. Thank you so much. All right, thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Have fun. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. -bye. Bye. All right, so, let's move on. That was that was our, really cool. Yeah, but now, what's our next step? Uh, I'm thinking that way. Uh, that is a big pavilion, and yeah. there are a lot of automobiles here. Yeah. How about we go this side, and then sure. we can. Ah, this is the Toyota pavilion. Uh, How do you feel like the the future cars? Oh, the, I can't wait for that. That is so cool. <laughs> Which one you know, is your favorite? Uh, I like, I like the first one, mm -hmm. cause. Just imagine you can sit there, laid back, watching yeah. a movie, have a, having a sip of your coffee, mm -hmm. as well as driving. That's, 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 that's how you commute, right? I see. <laughs> so let's go come back to reality for a while. Ah. And this is Toyota, right? And then we also have our guest here. Uh, Mr. Liu uh, from Toyota. Thank you for Thank you for joining our program. All right, so this is the pro project manager from Toyota, Mr. Liu Huan Thank you. Uh, so, can you tour us around this section and tell us what's new we can expect here? Uh, Oh,我们走一走吧，因为我们看到这个展区非常大，然后有各种各样新的，还有很多新的场景是我们平时很难看到的。是，这次我们丰田主要通过这次进口波浪会传达了三个我们想说的一个理念吧。第一个呢，就
And uh, the second concept is actually the uh, uh, new energy, clean energy that we're using is the middle section. And the third section is actually called mobility for all. They provide services for the disabled person, the senior people. I think that is a very good idea. Yeah, so how I can't about wait. <laughs> yeah, how about we start from here and of then course. we can tour around all the three yeah. sections. It's automated driving, right? Uh-huh. 它是需要把你自己生活中的需求，假如说移动的这些呃，这个假如说是医院啊，移动的这种空间啊，它带到你的家里。假如说我想买东西，我下了个单，它把它给我送过来了，是这样的一个概念。Okay, so this is actually this vehicle is actually put into use during the uh, uh, Winter Olympics and during the uh, uh, Olympics at, in, in Tokyo, right? Yeah. Uh, so it's not only an unmanned vehicle, it can provide a lot of services with this vehicle such as the uh, medical services or uh, some, it can, um, it can uh, you know, offer some daily services. Yeah, it can deliver what we need. Right, right in our daily life. Mm -hmm. And there are also a real wheelchair car, right? Like, yeah, we can see there is a uh, little platform over there. You can uh, like yeah, for provide a pathway too. for the wheelchair yeah, to, more to. And what, what about that one? You want to get a try? Yeah. I can hold this for you. Okay. okay. You. So this is actually the mobility for all services. And go on. how does that feel? Yeah, I feel very comfortable. So I think uh, Mr. Liu said that it's for the disabled people to get on car easily and more convenient. So I'll give it a try. All right. Wow. So I can lie down here actually. And it won't hurt my head. Yeah, I think that is a yeah, very important part. For many, but here it won't hurt. But here uh, it won't hurt my head and my feet stand and, here. And don't it's very comfortable. Oh, sorry. Here. Yeah. So you can tell from this process, I stay very comfortable, very I shall say, and, uh, as well. without hurting myself. So I guess for people who have to use wheelchair or they're old, they're too old to get on car on their own, it's very great facility. It reminds me that if my grandma can has that when she got ill or got ill, so it will be a lot better for her to go out with us. So we yeah, can take her to a lot of places. Yeah, because sometimes they can only stay at home when yeah, we, I know. you know, went out shopping or, mm -hmm. you know, hanging around, yeah, hanging out with our family. Yeah, we can't take with our elderly, uh, right. like, families. Right. So, Nian Hao, we can go out of the way, it's like this. Yeah, it's like this. Oh. Okay. How, oh, I'm so sorry. All right. Sorry, Grandma. <laughs> All right, okay, so this is the magic button. Let me press it, and yeah, Grandma can get down now. Still very comfortable, mm -hmm. I shall say. Except that I, I accidentally dropped my So I'm magic really button. afraid that it will hurt my head. Yeah. This地方我们是怎么给它设计，让它能确保不撞到老人的腿和头的呢？啊，因为我们是考虑到这个上身的这个高度，基本上一般我们正常的高度都会碰到骨折。这个自己的腿的，而且这个座椅会后仰，后
。嗯，我们这次也带来了跟这个清华大学，也就清华长庚医院一起合作的一款移动医院。因为对于我们在大城市生活的人们来说，可能碰不到很多的这种的就医的问题，但是一些三四线城市可能离医院比较远，啊，发生一些身体上的问题的时候，我们可以这个通过移动医院在车上进行一个紧急的治疗。这个想法呢，也不仅仅是让人自己去医院，更多的是把医院带到他的身边。All right, so it's so, more than. Oh yeah, it's fine. It's more, <laughs> Let me do some translation like, first because yeah, sure. that was that was a quite long sentence. Yeah. So this is we were talking about the medical services here, and this is we can tell this is the、uh, smart mobile hospital. It can pr provide you know community medical services for those who are in need because usually when we live in big cities, Beijing, Shanghai, but one. Uh, for those who live in the third tier or fourth tier cities, they are not so convenient. It's not so convenient for them to go to the hospital. Maybe that's, I mean, a bit far away from from your home. So this vehicle can actually provide them a an opportunity when there's emergency happened.、Uh, you can go to this. Let, let's get on and take take a look. So you can、um, come to this vehicle first, and.、Uh, They,、uh, as the vehicle transfer you to the hospital, it can provide some basic medical services to ensure your your you know to ease your symptoms. So instead you, of like bringing let people go into hospital, it's like bringing hospital to you, especially <laughs> easy for those、uh, in the lower tier. So Liu 老师，我们进来，然后您帮我们介绍一下这边大概的功能，好不好？好。呃，这块是一个这个。患者去躺下去就诊的地方，然后同时呢，我们假如说是一个做心电图、心测试心脏的情况下，我们可以有一个贴到他身体上的一个贴，拿着这个贴呢，我们可以监测他的整个的心脏的一个状态。同时通过这个屏幕去跟清华大学长庚医院去进行沟通，所以它是和这个五 G 远程医疗是是联合在一起的，对一体化的啊。So it really it really combines with the 5G remote medical services. Then when they are connected here with a pin or something with their iPad, they can actually connect to the Tsinghua Hospital to help them diagnose. 所以他就是说，我们这边一贴上，等于清华那边就会有医生来来定，呃，到底是发生了什么，或者说有什么疾病需要诊断，对吗？对，车上可能搭载的是一名全科医生，他对某一个板块的可能救治并不是非常的清楚。嗯、通过这种五 G 的通讯、嗯，然后把这个病情传递给医院，通过医院去采取更多的一些治疗的一些指示。嗯、这样的话呢，同时在这个。呃，运输病人的过程中办好所有的住院手续，这样的话呢，可以大大缩减病人对于抢救的时间的。明白。So that is actually,、uh, as far as I understand here, so that is actually a screen that you can telecommunicate with the hospital with the doctor. So they can monitor the、uh, symptoms, monitor the condition of the patients lying down here, and they can give you some、uh, instructions to、uh, the doctor on the vehicle and to you know treat the patients on the way to the hospital. All right, let's get off the vehicle, and this is this is very very convenient, and it's very very helpful for those who those those in need. Of course. So our next stop seems seems like very different. This look, a looks looks like、right? a camping site to me. We have this camping chair,、uh, camping chairs here. 大家可以看到，这个就是我们在野外的去露营的一些装备吧。这款车呢，是我们这次新带来的，适合残疾人去参与野外露营的一款车。因为其实不仅仅是我们正常人，每一个人，包括身体有障碍的人都需要去享受这种生活。那我们也在考虑他们的需求的时候，呃，来，就是第一次带来了一款这样的一个车型。嗯。我们看这个真的是呃非常的周到，因为可能可以需要呃轮椅的这种上、嗯。这个车是我们呃首次展示吗？对，我们第一次拿到了进口国上来展示，也是第一次呃,呃去展示的。是中国首展，中、嗯、中国首展。对。Okay, this is, uh, this vehicle is making the, uh, China debut here. Uh, he was saying that. It provides the opportunity for the disabled and also senior people again to have family trip with us, because、uh, usually we were saying over there that、uh, it's not convenient for them to go with us to travel. But this vehicle actually provides a way. The wheelchair can come to this platform, and it, I, I guess it will raise up,、uh, raise the platform to the same level, to the same height as the vehicle, and automatically goes in. 
Uh, can we take a look? Um, you want to have a try? Yeah. Sure, Ma. Sure. You go. <laughs> go have a try. Uh, yeah. Me? Okay. Okay. So my colleague Shimon is uh, sitting on the chair to see if can really transfer her onto the car. Perfect. Oh. Okay. So it is really fixed. fix it the, the, the wheelchair here to yep. make it safe. Ooh, I am going up now and it's very very <laughs> stable and it is totally fixed that to make sure that I won't move at all uh, during this. Ooh. Okay. And this won't hit my head at all. There's still headroom here ahead of me. Hmm? And I'm here. Now this is how we get off the vehicle. See, a lot of headroom here. Very considerate. Okay. 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 So, so during the pandemic, many people choose to go camping, and that's why it come, has become very important soon. So, Shima, how does it feel like? Is this stable? Very stable. Mm -hmm. I mean, if I close my eyes, I, c I couldn't even feel a thing. It's not shaky at, mm -hmm. at, at all. Um, I go to the I, I go onto the platform and it raises me up mm -hmm. and to and, and, and to inside the vehicle. And, and it won't hurt, hurt your head, right? No, like... there's plenty of headroom ahead of me. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, so I think that's very, very considerate. All the vehicles, we provide medical services, we provide camping vehicles, mm -hmm. we provide uh, taxes, and they are mobility for all. That's a really, really brilliant concept. Yeah, and uh, I think now every enter car, a car maker has to face the problem that's the energy, uh, the energy shortage or like the energy transition. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can tell us what Toyota is facing the energy transition or the blue transition in what kind of Because the fuel this time brings the electric vehicle technology. The electric vehicle technology we are talking about is that it has 外插电的混合动力技术、纯电的技术以及牵扰电池技术，因为中国的能源结构，包括全球的能源结构，每个国家每个地区都不一样。那这个国家适合什么样的产品，我们就顺着它的这个需求提供它所呃这个需要的产品
第五次了，第五次了啊！所以过去的这四年，呃，进博会对于你们来讲是一个什么样的平台和机遇呢？嗯，我们每年都在参与进博会。进博会呢是一个展现自己技术，同时结交伙伴的一个平台。像今年我们这次的这个展台的主题叫“开放创新，共赢未来”。其实我们每一个板块，从刚才的智能交通也好，包括 mobility 所有的扶持板块也好，包括我们的全方位电动化技术也好，都是在跟中国的伙伴一起去成长，一起去创新。呃，不仅仅是一家独大吧，就是我们还是希望把技术拿来，跟中国的伙伴一起去服，就是开发一些适合中国社会、中国消费者需求的产品。So Mr. Liu said this is their fifth time attending the CIE. Has really brought them the opportunities to not only display their own products, but also、uh, trying to find more Chinese enterprises for a deep, deep cooperation. So, the sixth year will come? The sixth year, the sixth year. Hmm, we are hoping to see you again. Okay, well, looking forward to seeing you next time. Okay, he just told me that. Thank you, thank you. 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 I love the mobility for all section. <laughs> too, that、Anna. is so smart and that's so thoughtful.、Mm -hmm. Of course, and the campaign site is very innovative、uh -huh. because、uh -huh. there do a lot of people that, for example, they can't get out of Beijing, so they yeah do,、uh, they, they go to suburbs to have the camping experience. Right. But if what if you're、uh, disabled, you can still have the chance to、yeah. go out with your family or friend with all、yeah. the cars. Yeah. You know. For me, for my family, my grandma always wants to go out with us, but her、uh, lower back is not so well because you know she is pretty senior. She's in her in her eighties,、uh, so if she sits too long, her lower back hurts. Uh, gets painful, so but she any can't go yeah.、Out. I mean, when we go camping, we go to you know pretty far places. But she always, she was always, like, I want to go, and that was so you know. But with this vehicle, we can take her next time on our family trip. Yeah, even during the pandemic, yeah, there's still a chance, right? So.、Uh, Tell tell me what's this one for? Well, we are at the Hyundai se section.、Uh, Looks so cool here. I actually invited a guest to tour us around this section.、Uh, this is Mr. Wu. Hello. 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 在咱们的身旁呢，就有一台。我先打断您一下，不好意思，我们跟我们的观众先翻译一下。好的，好的。All right, so this is the project manager,、uh, Mr. Wu Yanbin from the Hyundai、uh, Motor Group, and actually for this、uh, year's、uh, CIE, they brought four aspects of、uh, products here: the hydrogen,、uh, electricity car, and imported car, and also future cars. That's the four parts, and、uh, yeah. 您继续。<笑>那这款车呢，其实就是我们的一款氢燃料电池乘用车。OK， 那这款、so、this is the hydrogen drive to car。这款车其实您要可以拍照的话呢，往这个地方拍一拍，就能看到它后面呢、oh. 有一个咱们北京的这个新能源牌，在它后面。Alright, so take 对对 a look at the car plate here. This is actually for display, but behind this display plate, this one is actually the car plate in Beijing. So this car is already put into use,、uh, into you know. 在前几年的时候，咱们也展示过这个 Nexo， 但是呢，那个时候是国际版的氢燃料电池乘用车。Okay. 这个车呢，就是为中国市场量身打造的。所以这两款有什么区别？嗯、就是为世呃中国量身打造和世界的。那比如说它的这个清屏的压力啊，就是根据我们国家的这个法规、嗯、标准法规进行、嗯、进行研发的。那以前国际版的肯定是不能在国内销售的，嗯、这款车是在可以在国在国内销售的。嗯啊，我们大概是。Tailored the car, right? Like、yeah, the tailored car to the Chinese, to the Chinese market. market. 呃，大概是哪年我们带国际版的过来中国的？呃，我们一八年、一九年的时候就已经把以前的那个就国际版的车在进博会上进行展示了。OK、啊。经过这几年的展示呢，其实也验证了我们的通过进博会这个这个平台呢，现在汽车集团的展品已经如今已经变成了商品。啊、ah, ，So this is this is a really good concept because they brought this Nexo car to the、uh, CIE China Import International Import Expo. Actually,、uh, a long time ago, since the very first CIE in 2018, but that was the international ed edition. And this is, like we said, this is already tailored to Chinese market. And、uh, 
can put into use, can put onto the market. And this is the process of, of uh, how we turn the exhibits into the commodities. Yeah. 就这个氢燃料电池车嘛，它就前面是一个氢燃料电池系统。哎，这个系统里边呢，就是在系统里面氢跟氧发生电化学反应，产生电，这个电能呢来推动我们的车进行前进。那你在旁边呢，就能看到
这么多年参加下来呢，进博会的这个观众啊，真的是特别专业，他不像一般的这个汽车展。啊，好多这个观众呢，他们都是一些政府的叫交易团、嗯、代表团，他们可能就是带着自己的一些思考啊，或者是项目啊，过来就跟我们呃相关的部门呢会会接洽。So I think it's a really great point that the audience actually here, the visitors at the CI are very professional. That they bring their ideas or their programs and projects here to see if there is new like chemistry between them and, and the, the products exhibitors. Yes. Yeah. 所以这边我们又看到了很多新的车，你给我们介绍介绍。啊，这个刚才呢，我说我们四大块嘛，一个是轻，一个是电，一个是进口车，一个是未来出行。嗯，那这款车，这款车其实是一个燃油车，是我们一款进口车，三点五 V 六，就是大排量发动机的这么一个叫帕里斯全新帕里斯蒂。这款车呢就很大气。啊，对，它是因为进口博览会嘛，进口博览会我们会把我们的一些进口产品也在这个展台上进行展示。So as we said, there are four sections here in、uh, the Hyundai Pavilion. Now we are at the third section. This is the imported vehicle section. This car is for family use. It's bigger in size,、uh, and this is actually a fuel fuel vehicle. 有销售啊，对对对，而且这个车呢是通过 E to E 系统，就是你在手机上操作完之后下单，这个车就可以送到你家门口。Oh, you can actually order this car online. You set the order on your phone, like、It's、very convenient. Yeah, it will it, like a door to door service. Yeah. Imagine when you oh, oh I I just I just set an order. What did you deliver? A vehicle.、Yeah. <laughs> That was so cool. What are you looking at here? This is what we have for the future of the car for the future. So this is the future section. 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 哦，所以这些都是不同功能的单元。不同功能的单元，对。Oh. 就是、是说这里还是说这个？这里面大的枢纽。比如这个，这个在在这个下来完之后，就是停机停了你个人飞行器下来完之后，你可以通过这个大的枢纽，你可以坐的这种就是个个性制定化的车，然后呢，你可以进行出行。所以你们的这个整一套的是通过包括飞行器和底下不同的单元都是一个连起来。对，这是一个构想，这是我们对对一个整合，我们对未来未来出行的一个构想一个愿景。Ah, this actually provides a future vision to the uh uh travel the traffic in the future. Ah,、uh, if we take you know um a flight and when we when when it land when it landed, we can there there are actually many services. Uh, provided here in these different units here, and there are like hospitals, libraries, cafes.、Um, you know, just just provide all the services we need in our life. Of course, and I believe this is also one of the major highlights、yep. for the, the expo. Look at the color; it looks really cool. Yeah. Is in this expo in the expo, uh, is the first expo. First expo. Ah, a debut product. This is the electric car Ionic Six. 啊，这个艾尼克六呢，它是在就是我旁边那个就是 EGMP 平台这个平台上，呃，就是生产的生产的。We can take a look at the plate here. Ah,、uh, this is the. 对对对，在这个平台，这是我们现代汽车专属的就是电动车平台，叫 EGMP 平台。所以这个平台和其他平台相比，最大的优势是什么？就说它的几有几个优势，首先呢，这个平台生产出来的车呢，它就更安全；第二呢，它性能更强；第三呢，它是一个模块化的，就是说它可能就是电池的这种布局啊，包括电池的这种叫兼容性啊、容量呢，可能就是更。更合适，这都是匹配的，都是匹配的。而且呢，它是一个就是，呃，比如说在这个平台上面，它可以设计生产，比如像轿车、SUV、大车、小车，它可以衍生出来很多车啊、嗯嗯。就是同一个模块，但是会有不同的这种应用的车。对对对，对对对。我们旁边的这个艾尼克六呢，就是在这个平台上，呃，其中一种，对，其中的一种。它这个车呢，像我们艾尼克六呢，呃，它是这次是是。因为它是七月份才上市的，上市完之后呢，就是在咱们进博会呢，就相当于韩国之外的，就是全球的首次的展示、oh. 啊。那这个车呢，它充电从百分之三十充到百分之八十，呃，只用十几分钟的十三分钟呃十三分钟的时间
，所以说它这个车呢就是充电性很快。Now it takes ten minutes to charge the vehicle from, you know, thirty percent to eighty percent. Yeah, it's quite effective. Wow! And this car is actually manufactured here on this platform. They were saying that is the. Uh, uh, let me take a look. It's the eGMP. That's the electric global uh, modular platform, and uh, to to manufacture uh, this vehicle here. Yeah. 那其实主舞台上我们也能看到，就是我们还有一款就是起亚，因为我们现在汽车集团下面有两个平台嘛，一个现代，一个起亚，就是我们主舞台上这款车就是我们起亚的电动车，就 EV6。EV6 that's 也是全球特别畅销的一款车。Okay, that's also one of the best sellers uh, worldwide. Uh, uh, EV6 by Kia. That's also part of the uh, uh, Hyundai uh, Motor Group. 对这款车其实也是在我们的 EG MP 平台上、嗯、啊生产的。All right, so this was also manufactured on the、uh, EG MP platform we just saw over there, just right behind me. 对，我给你讲一个小小亮点吧，就是我们这款的， okay. 我们这款叫艾尼克六，呃，它在韩国上市的当天呢，一天它就得到了三点七万的订单，所以啊，所以说它的这个、嗯、一天对一天就得到三点七万的订单，所以它人气非常之高。天哪 ，They receive 啊。Thirty-seven thousand orders on the first day. This Inex Six was Inex Six was launched in Korea. Just in one day, thirty-seven thousand orders. 好，那特别谢谢您今天为我们的介绍。然后明年你们会参加吗？呃，我们肯定一一直参加下去，连续五年了。而且我们就是从第二届开始，我们是整个汽车品牌当汽车展品牌当中面积最大的。嗯，你刚才估计你是一圈走过来完之后，你能看到了。对，你能看到我们展馆是最大，感觉这种设计也很新颖。整个汽车馆最大。对的，最大的，对，一千二百平。对对。Thank you so much. Thank you. So this is the large, actually the largest exhibition air, exhibition area here at the、in、Auto this, Pavilion, right? Right, in this Auto Pavilion, pavil,、uh, Automobile Pavilion. What I'm saying, yeah. So I think that's that's only a corner of this pavilion. It's really large. We are at this、uh, exit entrance here, but、uh, mm. extends all the way to that side. So this is only. Uh, due to the time limit, I am so sorry that I think we can only show this much. Yeah, but、uh, yeah. it's already a lot of fun. Yeah, and th this is actually my second year reporting the Auto Pavilion. And oh, really? I still feel like you know, like smart and green are the keywords from、mm -hmm. last year throughout this year. Well, actually, this is also my first time、mm -hmm. and uh, uh, my la my second time.、Mm -hmm. Yeah, but my first time was in 2018. I can witness a lot of changes in、That's、this、important. Auto Pavilion. That's important. That's the first one, right? Yeah,、first、that、edition. was the first edition, and I also did. A live stream,、mm -hmm. live streaming here in this automobile mo,、uh, automobile pavilion. But、uh, in 2018, there was not so much, you know, new energy,、mm. clean energy vehicles. But this year, I guess one of the themes is actually new energy.、Yeah. How we can improve the environment, how we can go green、uh, in the transportation. Yeah. So the auto industry has been through tremendous changes in the past five years, and、mm -hmm. we can tell from. What we see at this year's CIIE. So welcome. If you have a chance, come check. And there are really cool stuff here. Right. And、uh, remember, this is only the third day、mm -hmm. of this year's CIIE. There are six days in total, and we will keep bringing、uh, more interesting live streamings from、uh, live from、uh, the CIIE venue. So stay tuned. And thank you so much for watching. Thank have you. Have a wonderful day. Bye bye. See ya.